Well, all right then. 1973 to 2016, 27, 37, she was 43. Wow. Why did mother have to die so young? Achievement unlocked. Sweet release. Visited your mother's grave. 5 GC. Nice. All right, now that that's done, let's get the heck out of this graveyard. Oh, it's T. Ayla. User. Hi. You okay? I'm doing a lot better now. What happened? I'm still processing everything that just happened. A Trevenant was defiling our mother's grave, and then Alina put him down by ripping out his fucking eye socket. <laughs> Where were you? It was all Sakura's fault. She was being extra tryhard for no good reason. I hadn't realized how much time had passed when I finally got the badge from her. I actually ran straight here after the battle. I didn't even stop at the Pokemon Center or anything. Well, that's stupid. Not saying I don't appreciate you trying to help me, but you shouldn't be out here defenseless like this. Especially given your stalker cop situation. Yeah, about that. Something happened? Actually, hold that thought. Let's go to the Pokemon Center right now. You can tell me everything when we get there. Okay, I'm right behind you, user. Okay, don't thank thank you for not making me walk back. Appreciate it, game. Thank you. All right, now that everyone is all healed up and we're in a public area, we should, in theory, be able to talk in peace. Yeah, in theory. So I saw him again a little while ago. I was actually on my way to meet you and your sister at the time. Well, you're still in one piece, so that's good. So what happened? Well, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh, and you're sure it was him and not some other guy with team order? I'm positive, user. I can never forget his face. It's truly a shame that it comes to this. I remember back when we made the decision to join team order together. Never thought in a million years that things would end up like this. This guy just doesn't talk. I wish you had just kept your head down like the rest of us. Had you just complied from the beginning, they wouldn't have had to turn you into a mute. The shell of what you used to be. I always told you you were a good you were too righteous for your own good. I'm not even sure if you can understand me anymore. I've been taking care of your wife for you. Sonia is a very sweet and loving woman. She mourns greatly for you, Karst. <laughs> when we're fucking. <laughs> so fucked up. You know, I have to look back on everything. I wish I had just talked you out of it. I knew going after Commander Redding was necessary, but was it truly our place? Commander Redding is definitely not what she seems. I know that. You knew that. We all know that. But when we accepted this badge and uniform, we soar our lives to the Order. I know you probably can't understand anything I'm saying, but I came to say goodbye. You're being reassigned, Karst. Reading has a special mission for you. And she wants me to escort you. Come. So, the creep cop has a name. Karst. And you managed to overhear all of that? Yeah, so what do you make of that? I'm a bit confused, honestly. I'm assuming that the other guy was a friend of Karst at some point. But what did he mean when he said he just... He... Had he just complied? That kind of confused me, too. Had he just complied they wouldn't have had to turn him into a shell of his old self. Wait a minute. You don't think Team Order has something to do with the way he was acting, do you? I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but it seems that way from what the other guy was saying. He wasn't always like this, apparently. What the hell did they do to him? Shit. I thought... A thought like this doesn't sit well with me. A few crooked cops are one thing, but in an entire organization of crooked fucks. Well, maybe, but honestly, it's not my problem or yours for that matter. 
seems that Officer Karst or whatever is being reassigned. So if RC is willing, I will I won't be seeing him around anymore. Oh, Kiwan. Hey, I thought I heard a familiar voice over here. Friend of yours, user? Yeah, what's up, dude? I thought I was your only friend. Wow, what about Michael? Quiet. Kiwan, this is Tiela. She's basically my personal assistant. <laughs> like hell. Ha, huh. nice to meet you, Tiela. Kiwan? That name sounds familiar. Have you met before? I doubt it. I never forget a pretty face. Um, thanks? It's, it's too late, Kiwan. She already has somebody she wants to get down with. Did I offend? Don't mind her. She just hates everyone. Except me, I think. No, user. I hate you the most. Damn. Uh, you weren't saying that when I... <laughs> you weren't saying that when I had you... Never mind. So what brings you to Cermak? Well, honestly, I got bored, so I decided to explore a bit. There's a mountain not far from here that I was going to check out. You mean Mount Korra? Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, user. Did you ever get your badge? Yeah, buddy. Check it out. Nice. I knew I said I had something for you, and I still do. Tell you what. How about you guys come to me, come with me to Mount Korra? And afterwards, I'll give you both your own HMO1. Why do you need us to come with you? It doesn't hurt to have an extra pair of eyes when you're out and about. Huh. Well, it's not like we had anything else to do anyway. Alright, I'm game. Yeah, I've always wondered what was in there. And I do need that HMO1. But don't we need Rock Smash to get inside? I got it covered. I'm gonna head over now. You can meet me when you're ready. Will do. Huh. What's up? I don't know, user. Something about that guy just seems off to me. You say that about everyone, though. I guess, user. I'm gonna head over to the mountain now, I guess. Do you want- do you remember how to get to the mountain? Yes. Alright then, I'll see you there. God damn it, I gotta go on my own. Well, I do need to pick up some healing items and shit, I guess. Uh, well anyways, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Con Artist. I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Conspiracy. Thanks for watching again, and uh, yeah. Peace out. Okay. How's it going, guys? Connor just here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Conspiracy. Last episode, some shit happened. In this episode, uh, we're going to be one in this cave. So, uh, yeah. See what's going on here. Glad to see you, user. Where exactly did you meet this guy, anyway? I ran into him in his Absol when I was on my way home the other day. He's acting really weird. I've tried having conversations with him and nothing. He keeps giving me these vague one-word responses to everything. Then he keeps mumbling something to himself. So he's a bit awkward. Big deal, it'll be fine. And if he tries anything weird, we'll both take him down together, deal? Alright, user, I'll trust you on this one. But if he turns out to be a psycho, I'm blaming you. Okay. You made it. Ready to head inside? Sure. Alright. Absol. Clear the path. Shall we? No. <laughs> I don't want to go in here. Mount Korra. Proceed at your own risk. Oh, that's great. Is there like a hidden item down here? Oh. Alright. Let's see. Uh, how's our team looking right now? Mm, cap is 25, so I guess we'll throw Lizzie out front. Let's go ahead. Eh, that'll be fine. Let's go. We have some common candies, I think, to drop our level if need be. Oh yeah, there's a wild Pokemon in here. Random ass Mankey. And I can't escape from a fucking level 18 Mankey. God fucking damn it, dude. Okay, let's not throw Lizzie out front. It's fucking ridiculous. Why the hell are there Mankey in here anyway? What kind of cave is this? Don't want to use a repel, because I'm not sure how long this cave is. God damn it! There's nothing but Mankey in here. Let's use a repel. Fuck it. Not time for this nonsense. 
I only have three repels. Oh shit. Did I not buy any? It's been a couple days since I've played, so I have no clue. Just checking for hidden items. Great, three different paths. This one leads to nothing. Up is probably the way to go, so I'm going this way. Yep, up is definitely the way to go. Yeah, it's a rock gem. Nice. How the hell am I going to get that item? I need Surf to get that item. God damn it. Okay. So there's water that way. And we have a cave that way. So two different ways we can go. Having fun? User, have you ever heard of the stories about this place? Can't say that I have. How about you? I vaguely remember a few details. There are tunnels lower down that go for miles. Nobody knows how they got there or where they go. You don't think a giant Steelix made them, do you? Giant Steelix? You've clearly been playing way too many fan games, user. Damn. Well then, uh, what do you think made the tunnels? I've heard about this coven of witches or something that lives in Cermak. Bet their roots go back pretty far, perhaps even centuries. So your answer is an ancient tribe of magic users? Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, eh, <laughs> wow, and I'm the one that's been playing too many fan games. Shit. I hate you so much. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. Tell you what, how about me and you come back here when we get stronger? And we can see if these tunnels actually exist, and if so, what's in them? Uh, this sounds like a pinky swear moment. Pinky swear? What are we, 12? User, we have been bound by the sacred laws of the pinky swear since we were kids. It's not act brand new. Alright, fine, pinky swear. Pinky swear. Okay. So now that we've pinky sweared, I guess. So which way do we go? This way or up? Uh, I'm not going to go down that yet until I check what's up over here. In my backpack. Jesus. Okay. Oh, that was the way to go. Broken crystal. Perfect. This is definitely the right way. Now I kind of want to go down the other way to see where that leads me. Now that I know that's the right way to go. Where the hell does this take me? Shit, do we want to go left or right? Let's go right. Ah, there's an item here. Nice. Super potion. Oh shit, it's a Cubone! Black padlock. I probably need a key for that. There's a fucking Cubone here. Huh. It's searching for something. Interesting. So we have a random Cubone and a locked door. Okay. That leads us back here. Okay. Okay. Kind of want to go down the right path this time just to see where that led. If there's any items or anything over there. Let's go on the right side now. Or left side, I mean. Oh, shit. I can't get over there. God damn it. Ugh. Try this again. Just trying to see. I'm probably wasting repels, but I just want to see. There we go. Alright, now what's down here? 
or up here. Oh, it's a TM up here. Okay. What is this TM? Okay. Hey. That drill bird just robbed me of my TM. I'll go get it right quick. I just want to... Okay, that just leads to more of that. All right, we're going to get that TM from the drill bird. God damn it, drill bird. I don't have fucking rock smash. Shit, all right. So if we want the TM, we're going to need rock smash. Grabbing that item real quick. Elixir. Alright, so we got some things to do here later. We got a Q bone that's looking for something. We got a locked door. We have a fucking drillber that stole our TM. Fucking dick, dude. Alright. Let's go see what Kiwan was doing over here with that broken crystal. Uh, what do you even have here? Some kind of weird crystal. It's a huge crack in it, too. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, you know what that's about? Not a clue, but I'm sure we'll be able to draw some sort of conclusion if we proceed. Alright, fair enough. We'll be right behind you. Alright. What's the move? He's hiding something. Say what? I overheard him saying something. Something about this being the right way. The right way to what, exactly? Hell if I know. Only thing I know for sure is that he has some kind of hidden agenda. And he's dragging us along with him for whatever reason. Well, let's go see what he has to say about this. And he had better have a damn good explanation. Can I have this crystal? Guess not. I'm gonna save real quick just in case something bad happens. God, why am I lagging fucking tits in here, dude? Jesus. You see this? Lag is crazy. Okay, because I'm fucking superhuman, apparently. Good lord. Oh, this is bad. Ow. Why is it lagging so much in this room? Oh, God. Uh. Uh. Let's make sure there's not like a secret way that way. Nope, didn't want to go back. There's an item. A dragon gem. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh god, I did not like that. Oh god, there's more. Oh is this the right way to go? Because there's like another path back here I can I could have taken. Hello. A ray of life erupted from the crystal. Uh, okay, this is definitely the right way to go. So let's go back. Because right quick, I want to see where the right... Oh, God, back to the lag room. Oh, God, lag room. Go to the right. Let's see where this takes us. That oh, takes us to another crystal. Right. And that takes us to more jumping. And takes us to an item, actually. This is a thick club. That is what the Cubone was probably looking for. His thick club. Okay. 
So we can give the Cubone what he wants. I'll do it later, because I don't want to go all the way back. Alright, for now let's go back the other way, the right way to go. Wait. I could have I could go up from here. Where does this take us? Oh, it just takes, takes us back, then hold on. So I could go south from here. Or not south, this way. Wait, this doesn't lead anywhere. What the fuck is the point? Oh, damn it. Thought there was like an extra path I could have taken. Nope. Come on. Ah, thank you for getting me out of that. Alright, let's go see what's going on with T.A. La. T.A. La. Yeah, should be right. What's going on? Come see for yourself. Here's an item. What the hell? They didn't tell me anything about a giant steel door. Ahem. Oh, there you guys are. Uh, check out this door. What do you guys think might be behind it? I don't know. What do you think is back there? Who knows? You do. Huh? Why aren't you telling us? <laughs> Cut the shit, dude. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Look, dude. We're already on to you. And I really don't like being lied to. So I'll give you one chance to explain yourself. Is that supposed to be a threat? Yes. You can take it however you will. Just start explaining yourself. Hmm. Kiwan. Wait, I remember now. I've seen you around campus putting up those missing posters. Oh, is he looking for the missing girl? You're talking about the Amelia chick, right? Yeah, her. You two know Amelia? Not exactly. Yeah, she didn't really talk that much. Well, not to us, at least. Who exactly is she to you? Amelia and I are engaged. Holy shit. They're engaged? In college? The fuck? The hell do you have time for that? Engaged. Been together eight years. Engaged for two. Ten years. Holy shit. I mean, I'm, ex I'm, 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 so, but these guys are about to graduate college. So in my mind, they're like 22 to like 24, something like that. They've been together for 10 years. So 14 to 12. Jesus. The fuck? <laughs> She's my forever girl. That still doesn't answer anything. Why are we here? Is Amelia here? Well, I'm not sure what's behind this door. I have a few of my own people looking into this. Team Order doesn't seem to care. One of my contacts has suspicions about these mountain tunnels. Thought it was worth checking out. Why all the secrecy? I mean, I got no problem helping you look for your wife or whatnot. Really? Yeah, dude. You're alright in my book. Except for, you know, the lying part. I wouldn't have a reason to not help you. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about all this. So are we good? <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I really want to say fuck no. <laughs> no. I don't know, man. Brought me down here to the pit of this mountain to potentially put the safety of me and my friend at risk. Not mad at you or anything, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on you from now on. I guess you have every right to do that. Hey, cut. Deal's a deal. Appreciate your help. So, what are you going to do now? Well, first thing, I have to figure out a way to get this door open. Do you really think Amelia will be back there? If so, then who brought her here, and why? Well, if I knew that, we wouldn't be standing here right now. Well, if you find out anything new, let us know. See you around. Yeah, I'm sure you will, user. So, do I not get to see what's in the door now? You okay, kiddo? Feel bad for him, user. Probably should have just accepted his apology. Well, it's not like I told him to fuck off or anything. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> I was really hoping agree we could tell him to fuck off. I know, but he had so much disappointment in his eyes. Fuck him, dude. I don't like being lied to. He's at a low point. Honestly, I don't even, <laughs> don't even know him that well. We saw he had an Napsol. Said what's up. That was it. 
It's at a low point. And I think he's just hoping to find a friend. I just met the guy yesterday. That's what I'm saying. Shit. He should have other friends instead of me. I know a situ- I mean, he has friends. He said he has contacts. Are those contacts his friends? I know a situation. Yeah, it's a pretty messed up situation. But what if we had to come down here and things went completely left? Can you honestly say that you would have reacted differently? Meh. I don't know, user. Whatever. I had hope now. It's been a long day and my bed is calling my name. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. I'm a bit sore from jumping around back there. Alright, see you later. Indeed. Get home safe. Wait, do I not get to see what's behind the door now? Or was I never going to see what was behind the door? Alright, 15 fucking things. Nice.